Hi my dear children, Salaamu Alaikum. I hope all are safe and sound. I am Amina, EVS teacher. Today's topic is germination, that is seed germination. See my dear children, we already learned about the various parts of a plant like root, stem, leaves, flowers, fruits, etc. Do you like eat fruits? Yes, of course, it is very tasty and sweet. When we eat a fruit, for example, orange or an apple, we can see seeds in them. So, we can study about what is a seed, what is the importance of a seed and structure of a seed. Structure of a seed the outer covering of a seed is known as seed coat. Inner part of a seed is an embryo. Embryo has two parts that is two cotyledons and a growing plant. The food necessary for the growth of embryo is stored in cotyledons so it is fleshy. The growing plant has two parts plumule and radical. The radical will become root and the plumule will become stem. Plants can be propagated by root, stem, leaves and seeds. Most plants grow from seeds. The growth of a seed into a seedling or young plant is called germination. But you know how a small seed turns into such a big plant? Well, let us find out. Most plants grow from seeds. But do you know how a small seed turns into such a big plant? Well, let us find out. The process by which a seed that is getting all the suitable conditions grows into a plant is called germination. When we say suitable conditions, we mean all the things needed by a seed to germinate and those things are water, warmth and air. Each seed has a tiny baby plant called embryo inside it. Once a seed gets water, warmth and air, the embryo literally wakes up and starts growing to form a baby plant. You might wonder that from where this baby plant gets food to grow? Well, the cotyledons of the seed are actually storehouses of food for the baby plant. The baby plant starts to grow and the first part to emerge from it is called the radical. It slowly starts growing in the downward direction. Next, the plumule emerges out from the embryo and starts growing in the upward direction. The radical develops to form the root system of the plant, while the plumule gives rise to the shoot system bearing the leaves and branches of the plant. This plant is now called a seedling. The cotyledons keep providing food to the seedling until the leaves formed start making food for the plant. Then there is no stopping. The plant keeps growing to give rise to flowers, fruits and more seeds. <laughs> 